this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to write nested for loops and also how to take a larger problem and decompose it into smaller pieces using nested loops. So in this example, we're going to be writing a program to draw an ASCII rocket ship or a rocket ship made out of ASCII characters. Um, and you'll notice that there is some repetition in here um, of the various patterns and so we'll be able to reuse the code that we've written to draw the different parts of the, of the rocket. So for example, the top of the rocket and the tail of the rocket are identical. And so if we write the code, the nested loop, to draw the top part, it will also work to draw the bottom. Um, a good way to figure out um, how to write nested loops in a situation like this is to use what's called a loop table. And so we're going to do that to analyze how we should write our nested loop to draw the top or the tail of our rocket. So here's our, our loop table. And what you want to do is you want to look at the characters that you're going to draw in each row and then as you go down the rows, figure out how m many of each character um, you'll need to print on a given row. So for example, if we look here at our, at our rocket, we'll see that the rows are made up of blank characters, slashes, asterisks, backslashes, and then there's a new line character in there as well. So I'm going to write those different characters across the top of my table. So I've got a space, I've got a slash, I've got star, star, a backslash, and I've got a new line character. And so for each of these rows, I'm going to think about how many of each of those characters I'm going to need to print. So if we start with, I'm going to number these rows 0, 1, 2, and 3, because you'll notice got four rows here. So if I look at row zero, row zero has four spaces. It has one backslash, one of these double asterisks, one backslash, and one new line character. Row one, three spaces, two slashes, one star star, two backslashes, one new line character. Um, that row two has two spaces, three slashes, one star star, three backslashes, and a new line character. And here on row three, the final row at the top of the rocket, we have one space, four slashes, one star star, four backslashes, and one new line. So we're printing essentially four minus row spaces. And then if we look at the slashes, we're printing row plus one slashes because as the row goes 0, 1, 2, 3, we're printing 1, 2, 3, 4 slashes. Same thing, we're always printing one star star, we're always printing row plus one backslashes, and we're always printing one new line character in each row. So we, what we want to do is write a nested loop that loops from 0 to 3 and has within that a nested loop to print our spaces, nested loop to print our, sl our slashes and our backslashes, and then also prints the stars and the new line characters. So let's go to JEdit and write the loop to do that. So I've got a little skeleton rocket program set up here. So I'm going to write the code to do the top of the rocket. So, um, Basically, I need a loop for row goes from zero. Oh, row is, I could say less than or equal to three, but I'm going to put less than four here. So I'm going to go from zero while row is less than four. Less than or equal to three would work as well. And row plus plus here. So in each row, I know that I need to loop and do my uh, print my leading spaces, and I know that those need to go from zero, and while space is less than 
4 minus rho. I started at 0, so I'm going to do less than 4 minus rho. If I'd started at 1, I would do less than or equal to 4 minus rho. And it would accomplish the same thing. And then space plus plus. Okay. And in that loop, I simply need to print a space. Notice I don't want to use a print line because I don't want to hit I don't want a return character until I get to the very end of that row. So that's prints deleted spaces. Now I need to print my slashes. Now I'm gonna, again I'm going to start at zero. And I'm going to say, well, slash is less than or equal to row. So that's because when, when row is 0, I'm going to go from 0 to 0, or it'll, it'll execute, the loop will iterate one time. When uh, row is 1, it's going to go zero, from 0 to 1, or iterate two times, and so forth. So this will give me the correct number of slashes that I need. Again, I also could have gone from um, 1 to row plus 1. It would have accomplished the same thing. And this will, I can do single quotes or double quotes because I'm printing a slash character. Then I need to just print my stars, my asterisks in the middle of the top of the rocket. And then I need another loop to do my backslashes, so I'm just going to copy this and paste it down here. And because I need the same number of backslashes. Now I have to be careful with backslashes. Um, they, because that's the first part of a control character, like a backslash n or a backslash t, if I really want to print a backslash, I have to put backslash backslash. And that is a, a character, so I can put it in single quotes. Double quotes would work here as well. And then of course at the end of the line, I need my system.out.print line, which is going to print my um, new line character. And that's the end of this of this uh, loop to print the top of our rocket. So let's save and compile and test this and make sure it behaves the way we expect it to. And I see that it is in fact printing the top of my rocket just like I expected. I have the correct number of spaces and slashes and stars and so forth. So now let's go look at this star pattern that we see um, in three places on our rocket ship. Now this is made up of just a single row, but we still can use this idea of a loop table to figure out what we need to print in that row because we can use a loop to print these um, equal sign star pattern that we see here. So again, if we look at our loop table, there's really only one row. There's one row plus sign this equal star pattern that we see here, and another plus line, and then a new line. So of course I need one plus, one plus, and one new line. And then I just need to determine, well, how many stars do I need, or equal sign stars. And if I look here, I need one, two, three, four, five of those. And so I'm going to write down that I'm going to print five of that particular pattern. So let's go code and test that. We go back to JEdit. So we're going to write another loop. And this is not a nested loop here. We're going to... We're printing our stars. So we're going to print that leading plus sign. And then I'm going to write my uh, loop here to print my stars. And I'll set star to zero and I'll say well star is less than five. I'm going I'm starting at zero so I can do less than five. And then I'll say star plus plus and in that loop I'm simply going to print my equal sign star and then I'll print system.out.print line my plus symbol which will take care of the plus on the end of the line and the new line character as well. So again let's save and test this. Compile and run this and I have my 
um, stars, row of stars underneath the top of the rocket there that I wanted. Look at the next pattern that we see. So the upper and lower part of the rocket are also the same. So if we write the code to draw one of those sections, we can reuse that code to draw the lower part. So again, we'll use a loop table here. And we'll notice that we, in fact, have five rows here. One, two, three, four, five. And they're all identical. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to number them zero through four. I'm going to say rows zero through four are the same. And they're made up of this pipe symbol here, a dot, a pipe symbol, and a new line character. I have one pipe symbol. And in fact, here, if we count these, we'll see that we actually have 10 um, dots there. We have one bar on the end and one new line character. So again, I'm going to use um, a loop to loop from 0 to 4 for each row. And then I'm going to use another loop inside of that loop to print the dots across. And again, we'll write our code to draw the lower the upper part, rather, of our rocket ship, and it's going to loop from zero, while row is less than five, row plus plus, and in that loop, I'm going to print that leading pipe or bar symbol there. And then I'm going to loop to print the dots. I'm going to go from 0 to 10. Dot plus plus. And in this loop, I'm just going to print a dot. And then I'm going to print the bar. And by doing a print line, I'll also print the return character there. And so I want to do that five times. Let's save this, and again, we'll test it. Compile. And we run it, and we see here that we have the top part of our rocket ship. Now, all I have to do is copy and paste that code um, in the appropriate order in order to draw the entire rocket. Um, later on, we'll learn how to write what are called methods so that instead of actually copying and pasting that code, we can write a method and we can call it multiple times to repeat these different patterns. Before I do that, though, to draw the entire rocket, I'd like to also point out that one of the things that we would like to be able to do here is to be able to scale our rocket ship so that we could enter a value from the keyboard and scale it so that it could be larger or smaller than our original scale, which actually happens to be 4. And the reason it's 4 is because if we look here, we have, um, we have 4 rows on the top. Um, here we have 4 plus 1 rows um, to make up each of these sections here four rows to make up the tail because we're repeating the top part and so forth. If you look at this small rocket here in the middle, two rows here, three, three, two, and if we look at this one, we have seven, eight, and so forth. So we would like to be able to scale our rocket ship um, so that we could ask the user to enter a scaling factor and it'll draw a rocket that's the appropriate size. And so before I copy and paste to draw the entire thing, I'm going to add my scaling factor here. Now, in order to do that, this, this rocket has a scaling factor of 4. So I'm going to ask the user to enter a, a scaling factor. And we might also want to make sure that, I'm going to do a print here, we might also want to make sure that the, and tell the user to enter a scaling factor that was at least 2, or between 2 and some reasonable value, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. And I'm just going to call it scale, and I'm going to get it using keyboard.next int. So if the user enters 4, it should draw the rocket just as we, as we um, 
have it uh, drawing currently, but if they enter a two or seven or so forth, we want it to scale appropriately. So what we will do is go through here um, and where the loops are dependent on that constant four, we're going to replace that four with our scale. So for example, instead of looping from zero to four minus one in this case, we're going to loop from zero to scale minus one. If I look at this loop from my spaces, I want this to be scale instead of four. This inner loop that does the slashes should be fine because it's based on the number of rows. So those are fine, I don't need to change those. If I look down here at my star loop, now this loops five times. Um, if I look back at my ASCII rockets here, so it loops, I, I draw five stars when the scale is four, I draw three when it's two, I draw eight when it's seven, and so forth. So I can go and adjust my loop appropriately, and I'm going to loop to scale plus one because it was five when scale was four, it was three when scale was two, and so forth. Do the same thing here for the upper part of my rocket. Scale. Now I've got 10 here, again, and I'm gonna change this to two times scale plus one to do the dots. Okay, so let's save this and make sure that it works correctly before, again, before we copy and paste this to draw the entire rocket. Compile. I'm going to run it. It's going to ask me for a scaling factor, so I'll, I'll enter, um, let's enter six. And I'll see that, in fact, it's drawing a rocket that's a little bit bigger than the one I had before. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six rows here on the top. And I'll see that it's the number of dots, the, the, the um, width of the rocket is wider based on the scaling factor that I entered. Let me run it again for a couple more values. So let's try it for two. And we get that nice small rocket that we were expecting. And one more time to make sure that it still works correctly for four. And that looks right. So now I would go in and copy and paste the um, the code, my program, and run it to make sure this is going to draw my entire rocket. I'll enter a scaling factor of 5 here, and let me adjust this so we can see the whole thing, and there's our whole rocket with a scaling factor of 4. I can run it a couple more times just to make sure. Again, I'll enter a scaling factor of 2, and I've got the little baby rocket, and that looks correct. And Actually, when I look at this, I notice that it's drawing two rows of dots there in the center. Let me go back up here and notice that when the scaling factor is five, one, two, three, four, five rows of dots, it actually should have six. This is an off by one error, and this is pretty typical with loops to be off by one. Let's go up and look at this. So this is here when we're drawing the upper and lower parts of our rockets, we actually should be looping one more time here. So I should be going from zero to scale plus one is the number of rows that I should be drawing, both for my upper and my lower part of my rocket. And again, um, the fact that I'm having to change it in two places illustrates why um, it's not all that efficient to copy and paste code, it actually works better to use methods. So I'm going to compile this, run it again, and let's try this again. If we type in a 2, we should see three rows in there in the upper and lower part of our rocket, which that is correct. And we could even enter a larger value of 10, and we have a real a gigantic rocket. So there you see how you can go about um, um, writing nested loops using loop tables to analyze um, how to write those loops and how to put the different pieces together to solve a larger problem. Um, so that's all for this time. We'll see you again next time. Thanks.